Okay. This is a function generator. Another function generator. Um, this one is going into channel one input. This output is going into channel two output through these cables. Um, right now we have it on the 5000 frequency range as well as this one on the 5000 frequency range. They're both on sine waves and they're both around the same frequency right now. This one's 1362 hertz. This one's 1362 hertz. And this is the regular graph you'd see on a oscilloscope for it. But then if we want to see a, a Lasagu figure, we hit the horizontal menu button and it'll bring this windows up and it'll be under the XY function here and it makes a figure. From there, you can use these positioners for the channel two and channel one to get the figure to the center if you'd like to make it a little more clear. And this is a circle now right there that's a circle which shows that it is um, 90 degrees out of phase currently right now they should be 180, uh, 90 degrees out of phase. That is 90 degrees out of phase. And on the Lesage figure, it will show that by showing a circle. But if we come back and in just touch one of these frequencies just a little bit to get it to start to move. Let's see here. There it is. Okay, so look at this graph. Now channel two is moving in and out of phase, in and out of phase. So we'll go back to the XY function and we can see that here. I'm going to pause it. This one's in phase when you see a line like that. That is a circle would be, catch a circle. Well, when you see a circle that's 90 degrees. And then this line going this way would be 180 degrees out of phase. Another thing I can change is the amplitude by the output here. I'm changing channel 2's amplitude to make it bigger right now. And this on the Lesage figure would show by being longer on the channel 2, which is the Y axis. Shows that it has more amplitude than the X axis, which is channel 1. But if I increase channel 1's amplitude as well, it'll go back equal with channel 2's and it'll make a square. And you have a square shape that's showing same amplitudes. But if I lower one, it'll show like that by making a rectangle. And now we can change, I'm going to get the outputs the same. Go back here and look at this. Try to get the same amplitude again. So that same amplitude, and they're still going. One's going in and out of phase. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change channel two's frequency slightly. It shows how much it'll speed up. Now this one's at. Oh, let's go a little bigger than that. This one's at 1,369 hertz, 1,370 hertz, and 1,362 hertz. And this is what it would show on the oscilloscope. And the XY function, it shows this shape. And I'm going to adjust channel 2's frequency to show the different shapes it'll make. Yeah. There it is. Good.